Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. Still cruising around historic Kingsville. This is the main drag. Uh, yesterday we went to the saddle shop, but we're going to check out a few other places today. Raccoon Little Bear. Roll my intro. Guys, Kingsville is named after Richard King, owner of King's Ranch. The ranch in its heyday was larger than the state of Rhode Island. It's also the county seat, city hall, courthouse. Texas A&M has a very large uh, branch here. And uh, there's Naval Air Station Kingsville. There's the Love Shack. Uh, that's one of the three places in the United States where uh, pilots are uh, certified. Yeah. We're going to uh, go to a historic landmark here, a uh, drugstore. It's been in business for over 100 years, Harold's. And uh, I'm not sure what's in here. I've never been here before. I've just read little neat quotes about it online. So, uh, yeah, it does have that 100-year-old look, doesn't it? Nice, Nicely decorated. A little bit of the old, a little bit of the new. You can tell it's been redone a few times. Nice little candles. What they do have here, there you go. Blue Angels Fighters Jets. And uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna be coming back to Kingsville, I think a few, time, a few times over the next months, guys. They actually have a little restaurant in here. Back in the throwback when the uh, drugstores would have the counter and you could sit at them and eat lunch and uh, most of them had a good uh, ice cream selection. Um, I, I did plan on eating lunch here but it's full. They have to have half their tables closed uh, due to COVID. But uh, yeah, and it's directly across the street from the King Ranch uh, Saddle Shop. And uh, this is just the main drag. Train Depot is right across the street. We're going to go there next. But uh, I was wondering what these straps are for. There's an owl there. They have one of those fake owls and it help keeps, keeps all the birds out of the tree which can uh, decorate your car. Virtually no wind today, but uh, it's nice to see a downtown area that's still vibrant. Okay, guys, that is the uh, 1904 Kingsville Train Depot. It's been restored. Uh, it's a little museum now. It's free if you're in the area. Parking's a little tight, but uh, the parking lot was empty except for uh, a maintenance worker's uh, vehicles. So I got to park pretty close. Um, railroad goes, well, the town goes back to the 1870s from the King Ranch. And it's kind of neat because all this developed just around the ranch. Uh, they needed a quicker way to get uh, cattle up north. And instead of using the old trails, Chisholm Trail, uh, they would load them onto uh, railroads. And that uh, is basically what got the railroad to come to Kingsville. And then the farmers began to use it to get their crops uh, to wherever they needed to go. Uh, transportation started and it was used um, World War I, World War II to get uh, troops to training to San Antonio. And uh, the whole entire town grew up around the ranch. So uh, the train depot is... Uh, Really neat. They got all kinds of displays, uh, old time photos of the original depot. And it's uh, the outside um, is identical, they say. The inside is different than it was originally set up. Um, the counter's gone where you would buy your ticket so that they could make it into a, a small museum. There's three small rooms. Um, the the uh, woman working here was fantastic, had all kinds of. Uh, information and just pleasant to speak to for a few minutes and uh, even even the workers that were outside changing light bulbs were uh, very polite um, everyone I talked to in this little town was uh, very interesting and uh, polite and gave you good information so Kingsville was uh, very cool I recommend it but 
I uh, really like the old uh, Pullman car stuff that they had here. The high luxury uh, travel. Old telephone pole. Yeah, a lot of really impressive displays just, you know, for a little small town. They did a good job. I, I, I have a passing interest in the trains and all that, but if, uh, if, if you're a train geek, you, you would really like this museum. It's got everything but a train and, and, and you know, boxcars and stuff, cabooses. But the, um, you know how you always uh, compliment a conductor? Tell him he's got a nice caboose. There you go. Train joke. Those plates are good. I need to grab those uh, plane traits for Jamie Macon. <laughs> yeah, the old Pullman blanket. It shows you how the beds were set up in the bedding cars. Yeah, yeah, nice little, nice little museum. I liked it. And uh, there's, there's still more to see here. Uh, I wouldn't mind checking out King's Ranch, guys, but it's a, it's a tour where you sit on a bus, and I don't want to sit on a bus with a bunch of people during uh, COVID. But uh, that was the train museum. We'll definitely come, come back to Kingsville in the future. It's uh, only about an hour from where I boomdock. And I appreciate you all coming along for the ride today, guys. Thanks for watching. Kingsville, Texas.